Do you know what's not okay? The amount of people across Colorado and the world that we are losing to prescription opioids. It's a real issue. Here, let me show you. So recently a study was done out of the University of Utah. They found that out of all of their patients who had been prescribed opioids for their surgery recovery, 67% of them had a surplus. Not only that, but get this. Out of the surplus, 91% of those patients kept their opioids at home. Now that's a real issue. Prescription opioids sitting around at home are liable to fall into the wrong hands or to be disposed of in a way that's harmful to the environment. But we can't keep blaming pharmacists and doctors and dentists for the surplus, right? It's their job to make sure their patients get enough of these painkillers to mitigate their pain. So how do we dispose of these prescription opioids in a way that's safe? Well, we're suggesting drug buybacks. Drug takebacks are already huge, right? The DEA held five of them in the course of two years and they collected over two million pounds of prescription opioids, right? But what if we gave people an incentive to bring their opioids back, right? What if we did a drug buyback, right? What if we used government funding through, you know, grants and tax revenue? What if we got in corporate sponsors, right? What if we had insurance companies and hospital units and big pharmaceutical companies to donate to these events? Because you know right now, pharmaceutical companies are wanting to mitigate as much of the damage that they have done to this opioid epidemic as everyone else. I think this would allow people to have a reason to come return the prescription opioids, right? To ensure that they don't fall into the wrong hands and to really start to, you know, make a difference.